Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Josh and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be reviewing Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. Now I'm sure you guys have seen this before especially on my Machinima Realm video but uh, there have been a few fixes to it and a few updates for 1.5.2 so I decided I'm going to record it for the better of everything. So let's jump right into it. So as you guys can tell here the first thing we have here is this stone path. Now the reason I'm going to go through and use this middle click button is because I, uh, I'm i having issues with my computer right now and I can't have a second monitor up with all of the crafting recipes so I'm going to show you guys it. So here we go, the crafting recipe is going to be two cobblestone, it gives you one stone path. And I just have them placed down here but also you get these white fences and these guys are crafted by taking a fence and putting bone meal on them and you get two white fences in return. You can see white fences actually have a little more spigoting and it's kind of cool. Now as we move in here, we get ourselves this bird bath, and the bird bath is crafted by taking kind of a T-shape of stone, and you can place it down, and it automatically comes with water in it, so it's very nice. And here you have the tap, and the tap is crafted just by taking one piece of iron and, what is that, four stone, and making it kind of look like a tap. That would be really cool if you can kind of like, not like that, right click it and it would spin or something, that would, I think that would be cool. Now here you have the hedge. And uh, this is the jungle hedge in this case. And I... Apparently it doesn't have a crafting recipe. Hedge, uh, let's see. Oak hedge, there we go. Spruce, birch, and jungle. Okay, jungle hedge, uh, just jungle leaves like that. And you get four jungle hedge. And it also acts kind of like a fence. You can't jump onto it. You can see it's the same. You can't jump over that. You can't, can't jump on that. So it's very cool. So let's move into the house, and the first thing you guys see here upon entrance is this carpet. And this here is the black carpet, and the black carpet's just crafted by taking two black wool, and you get four black carpet. You can also use it with any other colors of wool. You can see um, carpet's going to be all the different colors, or actually it's white, green, brown, uh, red, and carpet, and black. And then we can move over here. And we get ourselves this coffee table, uh, uh, stone table, this is the coffee table. Stone table is crafted just by taking a T-shape of stone, and very simple. And then you get yourself the stone chair, which is crafted just by taking like an H, lowercase h, of stone. And what we can do is right click in it, and we can sit on it. Very, very cool. You can see F5-ing it, we're sitting on it. Haha, -ha, herder. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on. As you guys can see here, we have this wooden coffee table. Wooden coffee table is taken by taking any kinds of wood and just making it into a shape like that. I guess like an N almost. And you can place them down and they can infinitely expand. Except you can't place it on carpet. And that's very cool. And you also have this wooden chair. And wooden chairs, of course, are going to be crafted the same way as a stone chair with any kind of wood. Let's right click getting out of that. And you guys can see here we got this black couch. And the black couch is sitable, same way as everything else. We can choose which seat, and its crafting recipe involves, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of wool. And it's the same colors as this, the white, green, brown, and red, and black. So very cool. Here we have a simple bed, as you guys can probably tell. And uh, we have a bedside cabinet next to it. And these bedside cabinets are some stone, or uh, some wood. And two pieces of chests, or two chests, and you can right click them, place some things in it. Then on top of it, we have this lamp, which is uh, any kind of wool, like so, with glowstone and piece of obsidian. And you can turn these lamps on and off by right clicking, and it's very cool. You can also use it for redstone, which is also very cool. And before we get into here, we can turn around, and as you guys can see, we have these curtains. Curtains are crafted by taking two pieces of gold, uh, three pieces or five pieces of wool you get two curtains and you can right click them and close them and you can see from the outside you can't see in and from the inside you can't see out and when they're closed and then here we have the blinds which are a cheaper version of the curtains and they're crafted by taking just sticks nine sticks and you get some blinds you can see we can close them we can close that you can see we're not gonna be able to see in but the rest we can very 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 cool now, finally, we have this little kitchen set up here. So let's first start talking about these cabinets. And the cabinet is crafted. Once again, probably you guys could tell uh, it's with some jungle wood and two pieces or two chests. And it's a little different than here. Uh, well, maybe 
bedside cabinet has the same crafting recipe as the other cabinet. That's kind of weird. Oh, wait, sorry. Ha. Ha. Okay, it's um eight pieces of uh, planks and one chest. And I have them placed down. And here we have the fridge, which are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of or p uh, blocks of iron with a chest and a furnace. And finally, we have the oven, which is seven or eight blocks of iron and one furnace. And this oven overhead, which is one, two, three, four iron and one glowstone. So very, very, no, very cool is what I'm trying to say. And uh, one thing before we leave you guys off is, you guys can see, I'm just going to grab some rotten flesh. And there's different things we can do with it. So we can place a rotten flesh with a fuel packet, which I forgot to show you guys a crafting recipe. But uh, our um, packet, this guy right here, pack. Um, it's crafted by taking glass and a bucket of water. And you can use them and place them in the freezer as your uh, fuel, I guess, is what it is, cooling. So you can see this is just about done. There we go. And we get ourselves a flesh, and the flesh is edible. And then you can head over here, and you can also throw the flesh in, or the um, the flesh into the oven, and you can turn it into cooked flesh. And this is a little better version of everything, pretty much. Uh, it's cooked flesh will repair your hearts. It's for hunger, and it won't give you a crappy little uh, hunger issue. But um, that's everything this mod really includes. So you guys can see I have this set up right here. And here's everything the mod adds. I mean, obviously you have this little mailbox, which I didn't show. But that's something where you can just place some letters in it. And it's very, very, just very basic and cool, I guess, at the same time. But um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please leave a rating and let me know how I did. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right. See ya.